Hi folks, my name is Darren. Very warm welcome back to the channel if you are a returning viewer. So this is going to be the first in a three-part mini-series that I'm making in which I show off the mega rig that I'm currently building. Now it's not yet 100% complete. It does need a little bit more work, but that's why I'm having to do it in three parts. So the story behind the mega rig is this. I want a rig that I can take anywhere and do literally anything. Now, I don't have a Line 6 Variax, which everything that I'm looking to do, I could do it with. But if I'm going to a guitar gig, I'd rather just have my my Strat um, or, you know, a, a, another guitar with me and I just use that for all my sounds. Or, I'd, you know, take a bass with me and have that use all my sounds. So the three things that I'm going to be looking at in terms of this mega rig are pitch shifting between different tunings, but that would be mainly on guitar. The second thing I'll be looking at is for the electric guitar is switching on an acoustic IR in every single patch. And the third one is going to be using instrument IRs to get different sounds out of my instruments. So for example, with a Strat, um, with humbuckers, which is what I've got, I can switch to single coil at the click of a button and not have to worry about switching guitars or get a Les Paul sound. Uh, with bass, I've currently got a jazz bass that I use for pretty much everything, and then I can get like a P bass sort of sound if I wanted to, or a Stingray, or even different jazz bass. But that'll be in part three, and it'll be all to do with instrument IRs, and I'll show you how I'm going to be controlling them. So this video is going to be a little bit different quality because I've got to grab my phone, I've got to turn it around, show you guys stuff, but that's fine. This is more of a documentation process than a proper, hey, look at all this, YouTube video. So there's a new service in the UK called The Pedal Club. And what The Pedal Club is, is a subscription service where you can subscribe to them for three different tier subscriptions and you can rent pedals for as long as you want to and you can chop and change them every month as well. So if there's a pedal that you thought, oh, you know, I want to try that but I don't want to fork out £200 on it, then you'd subscribe to something like The Pedal Club and you can rent it for a month. And if it's for you, just buy it or just keep paying the monthly subscription. And if you get bored of it, just send it back and get a different pedal. Now, I have subscribed to this service. This video is not paid or sponsored by these guys. But obviously, I do want to give them an absolute massive shout out for making this happen and allow my first pedal of this subscription to be the HX Stomp, which I think I'm going to be keeping for a while, at least until I can buy myself one or I can get one another way. But with that service, obviously, I'll be able to do different sort of demos as well. I've still got my Electromonics and Fender stuff that I still need to do that I'm planning on doing over the next couple of weeks. But then the Pedal Club is going to be coming in very, very handy, especially for anyone who's got any requests if they want to hear a certain pedal on bass or how this is done or that is done. It's going to be great. But that aside, like I said, what I've actually got from them is the HX Stomp. Now, I've put the HX Stomp in my rack. It's not pinned down or anything yet, you know, because I'm still in the the building stages and some sort of experimental stage with a couple of the functions. But the first thing, as I said, we are going to look at is the pitch shift inside of it. So what I've actually done is this. The HX Stomp is being controlled by MIDI from the Helix. There it is. And what I'm essentially doing is, depending on the preset that I pick up, which I've got set up to say, right, okay, this preset is going to be an E, this is going to be an E flat, this is going to be in D, this is going to be in C sharp, etc., etc., etc. So at the click of a button on my Helix control, the HX Stomp will change preset, and there you have it. I've, I've changed the tuning of my guitar, and I don't have to take more than one. I don't have to muck about with down tuning. I can keep my guitar in a single tuning and just go down if I need to. And I can actually get a couple more sort of tunings out of it if I just drop the E string down to D in normal tuning. And then if I'm down in B for the sake of arguments, but I want to go down to drop A, ping! Nice and easy. That's all i got to do. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm now going to switch to HX Edit and set my camera back up properly. And I'm going to show you, via the means of screen grabbing, when I press a button on my Helix Control, what it actually does in terms of MIDI to change the tunings. Okay, so unfortunately I don't have enough cameras or anything to be able to sort of do everything on screen, the Helix Control and the HX Stomp. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to bring up HX Edit on screen there. Uh, record the screen, show you the command center setup I've got. So when I press a button on Helix Control, it sends a MIDI message and changes the tuning. What I'll do first is I'll show you how all that works and I'll go over some sound samples with you. On the guitar, no bass today, it's all guitar. So I don't know if you guys can see down here now. Uh, we've got my very, very dusty uh, Helix Control. 
But what I'm going to do is this, keep an eye on the screen and keep an eye on here. So I'm just going to go to preset, stomp. I uh, guys can't maybe quite make that out. Hopefully that's okay. I'm doing a very, very bad job of this. So I'm going to go on my bank and I've got Mesa Standard, Mesa E flat, Mesa D, C sharp, but I can change bank to go to other tunings. Just so you know, this preset no longer has Mesas. They've got the new Mandarin Rocker um, within them as the amps, so we don't have to worry about that. It's all Mandarin Rocker. I just haven't changed the names of the presets yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press, I mean, E flat at the minute, I'm going to press Mesa Standard. There you go, and what you should have seen there is it's gone to uh, HX Stomp with nothing on it. Absolutely nothing on it whatsoever because I'm just going straight in. Now I should also mention that at the moment the HX Stomp is going through the front end of the Line 6 Helix rack. So I'm going straight from a wireless into the HX Stomp which is then going straight down to the front of the Helix rack. I am contemplating changing it all up to doing it via some of the effects loops. But for now, this works better for me at the moment. So I'm going to go back here. Like I said, keep an eye on the screen. Um, whoop, press that. And then I'm going to click Bank. And let's go to C Sharp. So now it's in C Sharp. And you should be able to see the pitch on the HX Stomp side of things is on. If I press that, there you go, minus three, which means I'm down in C, uh, yeah, C Sharp. So I'm going to turn that off one second. I'm going to pull that to one side. I'm going to come back here. And I'm just going to walk you through what I've actually done here with the command center. Nothing too major. Nothing uh, to write home about really. You know, it works and it does the job. So when I actually switch the preset on via the uh, Helix control, I've set the HX Stomp up to be MIDI channel 12. So I'm using this MIDI to change the bank in the HX Stomp to whatever preset I need for that tuning. Like I said, I've made a couple of different presets on the HX Stomp, all with the polycap or just sort of minus one, then another minus one, then another minus one. If you look here, program 23, which basically means I've, I've put everything in preset uh, 120 down to 125, I think it is. So as soon as I press that button for that preset, it will go to the corresponding preset. So, so yeah, just going back to it very, very quickly. Um, so this one here, I've currently put myself in C. And when I switch to B, you will see that that goes down to minus five, meaning it's dropped down to B. But what does that mean for when you're actually playing guitar and how does that work? Well. Let me just show you this. At the moment, I'm in standard tuning. So if I put this on bypass, you should just hear from the microphone. I'm in standard tuning, right? Turn bypass off. So yeah, it would just work like that essentially. So at the moment it's in B. And now I'm just gonna go to uh, C. I will now go to E flat. 
But what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to turn my monitors up a little bit because while I'm practicing this, uh, I can just hear the guitar. <laughs> and when I can just hear the guitar and downtuned, I can't really place where I am in terms of the notes and stuff. So let me just turn it up. You won't notice this, I will. So yeah, and then all I've got to do is I'm going to go back to standard. There we are, back in standard. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much how it works. And, and the fact that I've now got the ability to switch from standard to D to B and everything in between in terms of drop tuning is a wondrous, wondrous thing. Could I do it without the HX stomp? Yes, but I'd be sacrificing DSP, and I don't know if you've seen on my preset, it's pretty damn packed. I like um, one preset for everything. Now, I know it's a bit silly me saying that than having different presets for different tunings, but that's more of a utilitarian thing. I still like to have all the same amps, cabs, reverbs, delays at my disposal on a single preset, but the only thing that's going on here is I'm changing the tuning via MIDI with a HX stomp. If you have got any questions about the way I'm doing this or how to do this, how to do that, please let me know in the comments below or follow me on any of my social media links, which will be in the description. I'll also put a link to the Paired Club in the description as well so that you guys can check out their inventory. They do update their lists every single week depending on what has gone out on subscription. And I do believe they're updating the catalogue quite regularly as well. I think at the moment they've got over 500 pedals in stock. So it'd be well worth checking them out. If this video has been of any interest to yourself, please make sure you press that like button, which is probably the most important thing you can do. But if you want to be really cool, you want to press that like button and subscribe. Also, if you want to tip me for a nice cup of coffee, my Buy Me A Coffee account link is down below. And if you need any of your other normal guitar niceties or bass niceties in terms of strings, picks, anything along the lines of, then please, please, please visit the Amazon link down below to Cadno Music in Llanelli, and he will take good care of you on there. Part two will come in the next few weeks where I'll go over activating an acoustic IR preset in kind of the same way that I'm doing the down tuning, but obviously I'll be utilizing the HX stomp for that in terms of the DSP aspect of things. And then after that, we'll go on to the instrument IR side of things, where I'll basically be turning a HH Strat into an SSS Strat, Les Paul, whatever IRs I can get my hands on for that. I'll be turning my jazz bass into a P bass or a Stingray. So make sure you press that subscribe button so you get notified when those videos do come out. Anyway, guys, that's it from me. I do apologize about the potential bad quality of the video today, but I'm just working with what I've got at the minute. Everything's a little bit nuts in my life, so just getting on with it. So yeah. Thanks for sticking around. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.